What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So I wanted to do a little get ready with me video. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. First I'm going to go in with the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream and just make sure this is moisturizing the skin really well and very blended out. And then next I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu Lavender Facial Spray. I love this one. I've tried all three of them and this one is so far my favorite. So I would highly recommend this one. Next I'm going to go in with the Nivea Men's Post Shave Balm and this I'm just going to use this as a primer so I'm just going to apply this all over to the skin and press it in and make sure that it gets really tacky. Going in with that Maybelline 24 hour super stay foundation and dotting this all over the skin that way we have an even application. And then I believe I'm going to be, yep, I'm going to be using the Morphe M439 brush just to buff this out. And right here I'm going to be taking that damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge just to further blend everything out and just to give the skin back some moisture. And I went ahead and did my brows off camera so I used the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And to apply that I used the Anastasia Brush number 7. And right here I'm going to be going in with some brow gel. This is the Lancome Brow Gel in the shade 1. Next I'm going to be going in with concealer using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm like scraping the bottom of this tube so I'm desperate for a new one. Um, but I'm using the shade Fair and just applying this to the under eye area, the cupid's bow, the chin, the center of the forehead, and the bridge of the nose. And then, oh, no, not the nose. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go in with that same sponge and just blend everything out and just make sure it's really nice and even and brightening up the center of the face. And right here I'm going to be going in with the Cody Airspun Powder just to set everything in place and make sure that it's not going to move throughout the day. And since we have applied that powder, I just want to go in and um, moisturize the face, well hydrate the face a little bit with that Mario Obdescu spray. So right here I'm going to be starting with the eyeshadow using the Tardis Pro Palette and I'm going to be picking up the Morphe M441 brush. And the first shade I'm going to be using is the color Whimsy. It's more of like a burnt orange kind of color. I'm just taking that brush and dusting this all over the crease. I'm kind of being sloppy with it because it's just going to be like a base transition shade. Um, and we're going to go in and blend everything out with that Morphe M535 brush. And I'm going to be dipping back into that same palette, picking up the shade Punk. It's more of a very deep green teal kind of shade so I'm going to pack this on the outer portion of the eye area and I'm going to pack it on very heavy that way the color shows up really well and very bright next I'm going to be picking up the shade trendy and I'm going to spray the brush with a little bit of that facial spray and then pick up the color and then I'm going to pack it all over the lid and I'm going to keep packing it and packing it on until the color is very very bright. And right here I'm just taking that Morphe M535 brush and just blending the two colors together that way there are no harsh lines and that they fade and that there is a nice gradient effect. And then you'll see that I go back in with that same MAC brush and the same lid shade and I'm just going to keep packing it on until the color is just very vibrant and looking the way that I want it to look. So next I'm going to go in with my bronzer, the NYC bronzer in the shade Sunny and contouring the face. So once again I like to start at the ear and work my way down creating that contour line and then I blend up from there. And I like to keep the brush moving. I don't like to like sit it in one place and then blend. I like to keep the brush moving that way all the product is moving around and it's not going to sit in one place and not look muddy or cakey or anything like that. 
Um, and then I'm going to be taking a blush brush and I'm going to be taking that same bronzer and just going to bronze out the rest of the face. So I'm going to bronze the forehead, the cheeks, and the bridge of the nose. Well, the sides of the nose a little bit. So it's going to create a little bit of a contour. Next, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia A23 highlighting brush, picking up the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. And before I pick up the highlighter, I like to spray my brush with a little bit of a setting spray or a facial spray or anything like that. So for this, um, I use that Mario Badescu Lavender Facial Spray. And just applying this to the top of the cheekbones, the center of the nose, the cupid's bow, and that's it. So I'm going to be taking that same sponge that we used earlier and just pressing the highlighter into the skin. And then the same blush brush that we used earlier as well. And I'm going to blend the bronzer and the highlighter together. That way they just blend really well and melt really well together. And then next I'm going to clean up the contour a little bit. So I'm taking that same sponge and the flat side and picking up the translucent powder that we used earlier. And I'm just going to run this underneath the contour a little bit. So if you ever mess up or if your contour looks a little sloppy, you can always do this trick and it'll help clean it up. I feel like I go in 20 times and just blend this eyeshadow out, but I'm just further blending everything out with that Morphe M535 brush. And then picking up the shade, let's see, Classic and highlighting the brow bone and the inner corners with a small Eco Tools brush. And just taking a fluffy brush just to blend away all of that translucent powder. And right here I'm going to be basically repeating the same steps that we did on the lid. So for the lower lash line right here I'm going to be picking up the shade Trendy. And just running this towards the inner portion of the eye area. So next I'm going to be picking up the shade Punk in the palette and just running this on the lower lash line area. And going in with that same whimsy shade that we first used and running this on the lower lash line area just to make sure that everything's blended out. Going in with that Tarte Gifted Mascara, I'm going to do a small coat of mascara because we're going in with false lashes. And I went ahead and did my lashes off camera but the lashes that I used are the Kiss Lashes that I talked about in my last video in the style number 11. And if you haven't seen my last video, I'll be sure to put it in the screen right here for you so you can click on it. And for lips, I'm going in with the MAC Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cafe Al Chic. And spraying the face with some of that lavender facial spray. I wanted to show a quick clip of me curling my hair this day. So I used the Tresemme Heat Protecting Spray and the Conair Half Inch Curling Iron. And I just wrap the hair around the wand. I don't clamp it or anything like that. Um, and then I just kind of messily run my fingers through it. But yeah, that was pretty much a get ready with me on a normal work day. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and stay tuned for what's coming next. Bye!